Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors got another Black Series review for you today. It is Clone Wars Mace Windu. I've uh, been sitting on this one, was sort of waiting to grab this one for quite a while. So they've just been putting it off and off and off thinking, do I need it? And uh, yeah, finally decided to bite the bullet and grab this one. Um, yeah, the only one that wasn't available to us was uh, General Grievous here in Australia. So I picked up the, uh, the Art Trooper initially when it was released. And just been holding out on this one. I, you know, wasn't completely sold, but now that I've got it, I'm looking forward to opening it and um, displaying him with my other Black Series figures from the Clone Wars, um, particularly like the Obi Wan Kenobi in the full clone armor. So yeah, obviously the packaging is sort of inspired by the 2003 Clone Wars toy line. And there's sort of very, you know, the Gendi Tartaskovsky style, very exaggerated animation. Uh, these did come out as part of the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. It says the Clone Wars are brought to life in a unique animation style that captures the drama of this epic period. Jedi warriors led clone troopers into battle against the evil Separatist forces. So there is the back. I don't have the original Mace Windu figure, but I'd very much like to get him. But um, we're going to crack this one open and have a look. Let's go take a look. All right, folks, here is General Mace Windu from the Clone Wars, um, the old Tartakovsky series. I did, wasn't this sort of kitted up in the 2008 animated series, but he certainly looks good. Uh, arguably more badass in the uh, Tartakovsky Clone Wars, the way he just sort of kicked the, kicked the living piss out of those <laughs> super battle droids uh, in very short work. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have this one in the collection. I really am. I think he looks good. Um, he's going to go nicely with the other ones from the from that sort of era of the Clone Wars. I know it's technically not canonical, but it works for me. I've sort of merged them together a little bit just to, uh, you know, we all have a little bit of head cannon. I like the fact that maybe Mace Windu, Mace Windu went on some of those missions and the you know, fact that he was integral in uh, capturing, well, not capturing Grievous, but causing him to have the bad cough that he has <laughs> when he chokes him out. Uh, so yeah, obviously using most of the same parts from the original Mace Windu, the regular Mace Windu from the Black Series line. A few different colors, few different aspects. Um, he's wearing a clone trooper belt. It has some newly tooled clone trooper four arms there. So that's nice. And this armor piece, which I don't think it's the same as Anakin's. I'm not 100% sure. I need to compare it. I think Anakin's was slightly different. Um, maybe the, the mold itself might be similar, but I don't think so. Maybe the paint. No, I think it is the same, actually. It's the paint sort of tricking my eyes. But yeah, I think the uh, flaps here on the shoulders, they were sort of connected into Anakin's uh, sockets in his arms, in his shoulders there, in, as opposed to being, you know, attached to the shoulder there. But again, I could be... Uh, could be mixed up there because I reckon if I did I may have cut, cut them off and, and glued them onto his shoulders so they would uh, move with the arms but yeah not remembering off the top of my head fortunately this one here has a little bit of um, paint scuffing here just sort of through through the the undershirt there is a little bit a little bit of paint missing but that's not a big deal I'm not gonna get caught up on that that's not a big problem uh, head sculpt appears to be the same as the previous release. Just that classic Sam Jackson badass look. Like you don't want to cross paths with this guy. He's uh, he'll unleash a torrent of destruction for someone that's meant to be a keeper of the peace. <laughs> But I do like his hand there, that looks good. I've got the sort of two finger sort of force suggest. Uh, lightsaber he does come with, which is cool, that's nice. Blade can be removed, and obviously, there's some new tooling on the belt, which may have been on the Obi Wan. I can't remember, but there is a peg hole. So that can slot in the side there. Obviously that'll, putting the lightsaber lid on there will burn a hole straight through his pocket. Um, so no more loose change for Mace. But I like the way the, uh, the soft goods robe sort of tucked under there, it looks good. I'm not even gonna try and mess with it. 
looks like the sleeves may be like rolled up before they've put it on. Um, yeah, not even going to attempt to take them off. My intention was to get a second one of these, reuse some of the parts and do a Clone Wars Plo Koon. Um, but I don't know, I'm, I may still do that one day. Um, if the maces are still sort of hanging around, I know they're still available. Wasn't a, wasn't a huge seller, sadly. The Ark Trooper went like hotcakes. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. I, I, you know, obviously loving Clone Wars. Love the Clone Wars era. I'm a big fan of Clone Wars. So, um, yeah, it's, no, I had to get this guy eventually. It just, it's, it's fair. <laughs> so articulation wise, I think it's going to be mostly similar to the old one. Um, a slight retool there. He's got the neck joint. He has the head joint. Um, does have those butterfly joints. It's the same as the old Mace and Obi-Wan. Some of those new, newer Jedi figures. Does have the butterfly joints in there. So to allow for a bit of extra movement, which is great. Does have the ball hinge in the elbow there. No, that's for a fair decent range of movement there. There's a good angle. It does have the torso joint there, which, you know, that's a reasonable range of movement as well. Underneath, he's got the, uh, the Jedi legs there, the ball and socket, the swivel with the thighs, double joints in the knees. So they've still got the old pinless, the old pinned joints. They're not pinless at all. Pinned joints. <laughs> And then the ankle joints, which feel a little bit tight and clunky at the moment. My clunky. Um, so yeah, I may just boil them in some water a little bit, just to loosen them up just a little bit, just just so the plastic isn't going to snap off or anything like that. And then yeah, wrist articulation. So in and out on this wrist, and yeah, in and out on both wrists. So he looks good. You're going to get him in some cool poses on your shelf. I know this one's been out for you know probably a good six plus months now, so he's not a not a brand new figure, but he's brand new for me. So I wanted to share my twenty five cents worth of thoughts. Tonight, Mace was a little bit of a jerk, but I still love him. <laughs> if he'd, he'd just been a little shown a little bit more empathy, like he was very much the. Uh, the trademark of the the Jedi's dogmatic sort of live way too close to the book. You know, if he'd had a show, a little bit of heart to Anakin, he may have prevented a lot of a lot of unsavory things happening to the galaxy. But you know, if you haven't checked out the old Tartakovsky Clone Wars series, it is on Disney Plus. I don't recommend checking it out. There's some cool Mace Windu stuff. And yeah, he basically takes on an army of B2 battle droids and just punches the living crap out of all of them. And just, yeah, he literally just like speed power punches. That's cool. Well, let me know if you pick this one up, if you were into the Clone Wars, what other characters would you like to see? I, there's a lot I'd like to see from Clone Wars, honestly. Um, And some cool ones from from this Clone Wars series. But yeah, appreciate your time. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you for some more reviews very, very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you always.